going on guys we are hanging out here in the garage uh in this video i want to do something a little different um i have spent a lot of time watching videos across youtube um around the holiday season and seeing a lot of guys release um these like buyer's guide series where they're just kind of talking about different lures um different rods reels all of those things that they recommend um with different colors and I want to make my own little twist on that. Obviously, I don't consider this a buyer's guide. Um, but um, I want to go through each category of lure and just give one lure, one color that I have confidence in that I can go out and catch fish on at any time, at any point, on any lake. And in order to do this, um, I wanted to make these lures that I picked... Um, accessible um things that anyone could go out and get their hands on um or you could find the products online in order to purchase these products as well so we're going to start by jumping into um, the top water category before i jump into talking about top water lures one thing i forgot to mention in the intro is this video is going to have um, lures across all brands um, and these like I said these are just lures that I have confidence in and these are not brand affiliated I'm not affiliated with any sort of tackle brand um, lure brand so I wanted to make that clear before I jump into this um, as far as top waters go I'm gonna start with hard baits and then I'll move on to other ones for walking baits I'm going with a Strike King Sexy Dog Jr. This is the smaller size, um, still has good rattles to it, and you notice it only has two hooks, um, but like I said, it's the smaller size. Um, this lure particularly is one that I have a lot of confidence in, um, and as you can see, this is in a bone color. So if I'm throwing a walking bait, and the one lure that I have confidence in, Strike King Sexy Dog Jr. in the bone color. Um, moving on to poppers, you're going to notice a theme with my top water lures. Um, this is a Strike King Splash Popper, um, also in the bone color, and has rattles as well. And then one last hard bait, this is a Whopper Plopper um, sty style lure. This one is the Berkeley Chopo. This is a little bit bigger size, I believe. This is the 105. Um, so it's a little bit bigger if you're comparing that to the size of my hand. Um, this again, also in the bone color. This is the Berkeley Chopo 105. As far as buzz baits go, um, my preferred buzz bait does not have a skirt. And I do that for a reason, just because you can put any trailer you want on it. Um, the one that I go to, this one's absolutely been mangled, um, but this is a Blue Rock Custom Tackle Naked Buzz Bait. doesn't come with a skirt, and my favorite trailer on that, this is a Kitek um, Swing Impact Fat, and I believe a pearl color. I'm not exactly sure on the color, but I'll put that down in the description below, the exact colors and the exact lures that I'm talking about as well, so you can go back and reference that. But this is Blue Rock Custom Tackle Naked Buzz Bait with a Kitek Swing Impact Fat, um, and I believe it's some sort of pearl color. And then my last top water is a top water frog. Can't leave this out. This is a scum frog. This is the launch frog in the leopard color. Um, and if you notice with this frog, what the fish are really seeing is the bottom and it's a white. And if you notice that with all of my top waters, they're pretty much a white color or a bone or something very natural, very bait fish oriented. Um, so yeah, top water frog is a scum launch frog in the leopard color. The next category of baits I'm going to move into is just moving baits in general. I want to start with swim baits. Um, I will be honest, I don't throw a lot of like giant swim baits or glide baits. Um, if I'm throwing a swim bait, it's going to be a little bit smaller presentation. Um, just because I really don't have the equipment to throw a giant swim bait. Um, so I end up throwing a lot of these smaller swim baits. If we're talking a soft plastic 
smaller swim bait, I'm throwing this. This is the Mega Bass Sleeper Gill. Um, it has a little paddle tail on that. Um, it's weighted up here in the nose. Um, this bait fishes really, really well on bottom. Um, the, the, it's nose weighted, like I said here, so when it sits on bottom, it'll kind of set nose down. And it's got a top hook up here hidden in the top fin. Um, not as weedless as you would think, as you just smash that fin down, you can get hooked. Um, but I believe this is in like a gizzard shad color. The next um, swim bait, this one's a hard uh, hard body swim bait. This is a Mike Buka baby bull gill. I'm not exactly sure on the color, but I'll put it in the description. Um, but this one's got a lot of flash to it. Um, I really like this and these Buka baits, they just have a ton of action. So if I'm throwing a hard swim bait, typically I'm throwing a smaller one, like I mentioned with the soft one. A hard swim bait, Buka baby blue uh, baby bull gill. I like that one a whole lot. And then moving on to underspins. Um, with this one, I do use a swim bait trailer. I will mention with this underspin, um, there's not one on the market that I absolutely just fall in love with. Um, I have a couple that I throw. I'll throw the six cents divine underspin. I'll throw um, the fish head spin, the underspin. Um, but the one that I prefer the most is one that I actually make myself. As you can see, it's got a wire coming down to the blade. And then the swim bait that I use on the back of that, that is a Storm Largo Shad in the sexy shad color. Um, this right here is my go-to underspin setup. If I'm using a weedless underspin, obviously I would go... Um, not with an exposed hook. I'm, I'm talking about using an owner flashy swimmer. That's the one that I have a, a lot of confidence in, and that's the one that I go to. Um, sometimes with that flashy swimmer, it's got a little bit bigger of a hook, um, so I have to upsize my swim baits a little bit or go with a different swim bait on that. Um, for the flashy swimmer, my go to swim bait is a Kai. Um, Kitek Swing Impact Fat um, and that same pearl color that you saw earlier. The next moving bait is going to be a spinner bait. Um, if you've watched any of my videos talking about spinner baits, you probably recognize this one. This is a Blue Rock Custom Tackle spinner bait, um, Willow, Colorado, and the kicker color, 3 8 ounce. And on that, I have a Zoom um, split tail trailer um, and pearl. And that's my go-to spinner bait. Um, with chatter baits, again, this one you probably have seen if you've watched any of my videos on chatter baits. This is the one that I would go to. Um, this is a chatter bait elite in white. This is made by Z-Man, Z-Man chatter bait elite in white. On that, I have a hog farmer spunk shad trailer. That trailer is in the blizzard gizzard color. Um, this trailer is a 4.5 size. Um, I also really like the 5.5 size. Just depends on the size of the fish that I'm targeting. But that Z-Man Chatterbait Elite, oh, I forgot to mention, I think this is a 3 8 ounce with a Hog Farmer Spunk Shad in the Blizzard Gizzard color. Moving on to obviously some more moving baits, but um, going into some hard baits, um, I'm going to pick up a lipless crankbait. Um, the lipless crankbait that I have a ton of confidence in is this one. This is the Quake 70 by Six Sense. Um, and this is my favorite color. It's called Shad Burst. Um, if you hear this, good rattles in that. Um, it's very um, aggressive rattle. I really like this lipless crankbait. It's kind of tr of a translucent-y color. Um, you can kind of see through it a little bit, um, but it does a good job representing shad. And one reason why I like this um, particular lipless crankbait is the head on it is really, really flat. Um, so you can fish this vertically or um, horizontally on a fast retrieve or like kind of jigging it vertically with that wider head design works really well. Um, jumping into um, crankbaits with a bill. Um, if I'm throwing a flat side, my go-to is a Rapala OG Slim 6, and this is the Slim 6 here. It's a little bit bigger of a flat-sided crankbait. Um, this color is called Helensky Shad, I believe. That's how you pronounce that. I'm not exactly sure, um, but it's very similar to a Sexy Shad. Um, this 
um, particular one is silent. I believe it's a balsa bait. Um, so I really like that one. Um, going into round bodied square bills. Um, I actually have two of these. I have a silent and I have a uh, rattling one. The silent one is this one. This again, Rapala OG series. This is the OG Rocco 5. Um, this color here is called Hot Copper Green Crawl. Absolutely love this color. Um, again, silent bait. It's a balsa bait. Um, has a ton of action. That one's my go-to. If we're talking rattling square bills, um, you can hear that. If you can hear that, that's the hard knock version of a Strike King KVD 1.5. This color here is called Chartreuse Sexy Shad. I um, really like that one. Had a lot of success on that later in the year, especially in the fall time with that aggressive rattle to it. Moving on to a little deeper diving crankbaits. I don't throw too much more um, deeper diving than this one. Um, this one is the Berkeley Money Badger. Um, this would, I guess, would say a medium diving crankbait. Um, this one is the 6.25 size. It dives 9 to 11 feet, and this color is purple glimmer. Um, if you notice, um, with all of my crankbaits, um, it, they're shad patterns, and a lot of them fall in that sexy, sexy shad color. They're similar. Um, we got some blue. The only difference here is a little bit of purple. Um, and kind of the same thing here got kind of a white belly chartreuse stripe and then like a blue or purple back to them so those are the ones i go to for crankbaits um like i said i don't typically throw crankbaits that are much deeper diving than that for jerk baits i have two of them i have a hard jerk bait and a soft jerk bait um the hard jerk bait that i'm going with um is a six cents provoke um that's this one right here um, the six inch provoke um, is probably my favorite jerk bait. Um, as you can hear, got some pretty aggressive rattles to it. Um, this color here is called 4K Shad. It's very white, translucent, and then the back is like um, got some blue and some gold, purple to it. <coughs> as far as soft jerk baits, I'm going with the Zoom Super Fluke and Pearl. All right, next I want to transition into slower moving baits. Um, these are my bottom contact baits for the most part. I'm going to start with my favorite one, and that's a jig. Um, this jig right here is a Dirty Jig Scott Canterbury flipping jig, um, 3 8 ounce. It's in the Magic Crawl Swirl. It's like green pumpkin with some blue in that on the trailer. Uh, that's a Strike King Rage Crawl and the blue crawl color. I really like this jig um, because of the head design. It's considered a flipping jig, uh, but I think you can do much more with it, which is why I'm, I would pick that as my go-to. If you kind of notice, I don't know how well you can see that, the head design on the, that is kind of pointed. So this jig can also come through cover really well, comes through grass really well. Um, so not only can you flip this jig, you can swim this jig as well, which makes it very versatile. And that's why I like this one as my go-to. Really like the color, it's very versatile, um, natural colors. Um, it's got the green pumpkin with a little blue. Um, you could fish this in clear water, that's where it really shines, but you could also get by in dirty water as well. Um, if we're talking Texas rigging, a um, couple different lures here that I would Texas rig if I'm going with a creature bait. I'm going with a Strike King Rage Crawl. Or not Rage Crawl, this is Rage Bug. Rage Crawl is my next one. Um, Strike King Rage Bug. This one's in Green Pumpkin. Um, can't go wrong with a Green Pumpkin. Um, like I said, if I'm Texas rigging a creature bait and I can only pick one, it's this right here. And I mentioned this earlier. If I'm going with a Texas rig crawl... I'm going with the Strike King Rage Crawl. Um, with the Rage Crawl, if I had one color I had to pick, it would be the Blue Crawl. That's the same color that I mentioned on the back of this jig. Um, transitioning over to worms um, with stick baits. Um, I tend to Texas rig these. You could Blackie rig these. Um, you could Nico rig these. You could put them on a shaky head. A lot of different ways to fish this, but the one... 
um, stick style bait that I would go with. It's a yum dinger. This one is in the ghillie suit color. This one's my favorite. It's uh, basically a green pumpkin base with some blue and gold or like a copper flake to it. And then the other worm, um, if we're going curly tail, I like to throw curly tail worms in the summertime. Um, but obviously you could throw this more um, than just the summertime. This is a Berkeley power worm. Um, this power worm here is in the pumpkin seed color, and this is the 7 inch. Um, I like the 10 inch. Um, the 7 inch is my favorite in the Berkeley power worm, and can't go wrong with that color in clear or slightly stained water. And the last category of baits I'm going to get into is finesse fishing. Um, this is my least favorite one. Um, sometimes it's fun to catch fish and fight them on a spinning rod. Um, but for finesse fishing, um, I'm going to start with a shaky head. And if I'm picking up a shaky head, my go-to worm is this one. This is a net bait T-Mac. Um, I believe this is in the smaller size, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong on that. Um, but shaky head, I like to go with the net bait T-Mac. This color here is the Tilapia Magic. Um, it's actually very similar to that yum dinger that I picked up earlier. The yum dinger is a little bit more bold when it comes to flake. Um, and if I'm picking up a shaky head, I'm finesse fishing, the bite's tough. Um, that's the one I go with. Um, I will say I also use this worm a lot for Nico rigging. If I'm not using that yum dinger for Nico rigging, I, I do like a smaller profile or a smaller a downsized profile on that as well. Um, I'll go with this um, Netbait T Mac as well. For drop shotting, um, if I'm nose hooking a bait, I'm fishing it where it doesn't have to be weedless. Um, the one I go to is the Strike King KVD Dream Shot. Obviously, I fish a lot of different lures, um, but this is the one I find myself going to. Typically, I'm fishing a drop shot in clear water. That's where this particular color shines this is morning dawn um and i really like that the action on this I've caught a lot of fish on this really like that color now if i'm fishing my drop shot around cover um the i obviously want to make that weedless so i don't get snagged if i'm fishing it weedless kind of go with the exact same color it's a little different um but this is a robo worm and this color is called Aaron's Morning Dawn, I believe. The only difference is it's got like this like white pearl belly on it. And then the rest of the worm is just your typical Morning Dawn. And this is the 6 inch version. It's a little bit bigger. Um, but that 6 inch version, if you're fishing a weedless hook, you're typically throwing a slightly bigger hook. Um, still gets a lot of bites. And then the very last bait, that last lure that I'm going to talk about, and this is finesse fishing and Ned Rigs. And my go-to Ned Rig, I just recently actually started fishing this. Really like this little lure a lot. Is the Berkeley Max Scent Little Trooper. This thing is tiny. Um, but with that Max Scent technology in there, um, just an awesome lure to go out and catch fish on. Um, catch multi-species stuff on this. I've got a ton of crappie on this as well. Um, but yeah, um, Ned Riggin, I'm going with the Maxent Little Trooper. This color <coughs> is just straight green pumpkin. So there you have it, guys. Um, I'm sure there's some categories that I probably missed going through that. Tried to go through that quickly to not make this video too long. Um, but I tried to go through some of the main categories that you're looking at with different you know, top water, moving bait, hard baits, um, and then bottom baits and some finesse baits. And tried to make this quick, tried to make this um, as useful as possible. One lure, one color from each category and breaking that down. And I know that, like I said, this was quick, um, but in the video description down below, I will have each one of these lures with the color, um, the size or weight, and then um, I'll have that all down in the description so you can go back through and that'll be in order um, in case you miss something or you want to go back and um, see exactly what that is. So we're going to wrap this video up here, guys. I just want to say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. Um, leave a comment. Um, 
let me know some of your um, top vapes in each category, um, top colors as well. So thanks for watching, guys.